But I hope that the throw bearing is not fried by now. Or, or even the clutch. So let's jump on it. We'll see if the CMC was the issue to release and separate the clutch from the flywheel. We'll see. my last episode you will remember that I was uh, replacing the CMC or the clutch master cylinder if you haven't seen the video you can click on this card right now to watch it and then come back and watch this one because it's kind of a part two of that uh, mess so I replaced the CMC and I replaced the slave cylinder hoping that the throw bearing wasn't fried and guess what uh, it's fried. I'm just gonna cover how I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna replace the throw bearing and possibly, I don't know yet, I'm gonna see how the clutch and the pressure plate look. Also the flywheel. Based on the health manual for the Agro RSX, you're not supposed to resurface the flywheel. Right. Uh, you're supposed to buy a new one. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Uh, if not, I just uh, sand a little bit the flywheel and I might replace the stage 4 right now I have a competition clutch the stage 4 and I think that's what happened uh, I moved to Washington DC area in Maryland and there's a lot of traffic I'm putting 80 miles every day on this car and there's like an hour and a half two hour of drive pressing the clutch releasing the clutch all the time so I'm assuming uh, that what caused this so I might just uh, stay low for a little bit replace or drop a couple stages for all the clutch kit uh, or just go stock and then just chill a little bit not doing the RSX Turbo and just spend time on the RX7 I'm gonna fix also the oil leakage from the griddle uh, if you guys have seen my old videos when I did the K24 swap I didn't have enough on the bond to uh, put on the griddle as well and it's not leaking oil but you can see the shadow so you can uh, talk I'm gonna fix that as well to drop the transmission you basically you drop the soft frame you lean the, the engine to the side of the transmission and you just pull it out you can leave the uh, engine with something supporting from the bottom but in my case I'm gonna pull the engine as well fix the oil leak and then put everything back. So I hope you guys enjoy and stay with me in my journey to fix the RSX. swap the engine or pulling it out uh, is the harness so make sure when you pull out the harness some people kind of uh, label them so they know when, whenever they have to put it back uh, this engine is a lot easier than for example a big engine like a VA or especially if the car is new that has a shit ton of sensors I've done this multiple times so I kind of know now, but uh, if you do it the first time, make sure you label them or just, I don't know, put a sticky note or whatever. It's easier for you to kind of uh, know where they go. Also, when you're putting everything back, 
make sure the grounds. A lot of people uh, go through hell trying to figure out troubleshooting why the car doesn't turn on or something like that. Grounds are the big one when the time they, they forgot where to put it. Especially there's one for the computer. So this one, uh, K-Pro or Honda recommend this ground to put it here. I kind of want to talk, so I'm hiding it here. I never had an issue with that. All right, so another thing that I want to explain is uh, if you wonder why I have these two bumped well to the vault, is because I was planning to put an oil catch can and this is the reason. This is the PCV, so all the gases that are in the crankcase, just for emissions and whatever, what, what the manufacturer do, do is they kind of recycle them. They go from the PCV valve back to the intake and then it, it kind of burn it again and that's to control emissions. But I wanna show you why you want to either delete or use a oil catch can. I don't know if you can see, they have oil on it. All that junk goes in the intake manifold. You will see whenever I pull the intake manifold out, you will see all that crap there. Especially if the car is boosted, the pressure go to the crankcase and it's create what is called blow by. So all that junk go back to the intake. And uh, if you're trying to push your car to higher RPM, you're squeezing, squeezing every horsepower that you can and you don't want that junk going back. Especially you want to clean cold air in order to do the air to fuel ratio mixtures uh, and then push horsepower uh, a lot better. stuff on the top part is disconnected or bolts are out, intake manifold, sensors, uh, header. I was looking at the battery tray or, or support or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I took it out and I realized that I, since I'm pulling the whole thing, uh, engine and, and transmission, I might pull it from the top. That way I don't have to drop the subframe, uh, take out all the control arms and, and shit like that. That way I don't have to align it. But yeah, all the top part is out. There's an oil line for the old pressure gauge that is still in and the compressor, but the way I get to the, I, I, I'm just gonna remove the whole compressor out. So I'm gonna take those four, four, I think 12 or 14 bolts and I'm gonna leave the compressor there so I don't disconnect the AC lines. I'm gonna drain the fluids right now, disconnect the mounts, and try to pull it from, from the top. If you see here, I have enough clearance. I never done it from the top, but if you remove the battery tray, which is in this location, and you remove that transmission mount, you have enough clearance to take it out. Take it off. Same on this engine mount as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just do it from the top. By the way, I want to thank uh, Ruben, the guy that have the R34, the Skyline. Uh, by the way, if you have seen the video where we painted the Z-Tune body kit, the front bumper and fenders and stuff, you can click on this car right now. I appreciate him a lot. Uh, he always there for me and I needed uh, truck or, or, or a SUV to buy that engine hoist yesterday and he was able to hook me up with that so appreciate you guys all right another update engine is out so I'm just gonna take the pull the transmission out of the engine I'm gonna work on the transmission first uh, because that's what I want to find out to see if I have to order 
a new clutch kit or just the um, throw bearing and then I work on the old leakage on the side of the motor so wish me luck all right so I pull the um, pressure plate it's a competition stage 4 pressure plate um, the clutch I wanted to inspect the flywheel and uh, yeah the clutch and see what else it damaged uh, this is the throw bearing look how fucked up this is just shatter shattering pieces 